Hello my loves, welcome back. I hope you're all well. So this week's video is something very exciting. The lovely people over at Fomamo have kindly gifted me one of their thermal label printers and I couldn't be more excited. Truth be told, I feel like this is one of those universe things because for the past couple of months I've been thinking about when I do reopen my shop, things have got to change. For the past, how long have I been doing this? Five years? Full time. I've been printing all of my labels on a standard home printer that prints A4 sheets and all of my sheets were an A4 document and even if I had one order to print it meant that I had to put that A4 sheet of paper through the printer. Now because I don't like waste I would often find myself peeling back a label and repositioning it elsewhere on the page just so it meant that I didn't have to start fiddling about with the print settings to relocate the label into a slightly different position to make the most of that sheet of paper if that makes sense. I would just very quickly peel the label off, position it somewhere else, pop it back through the printer. Not efficient in the slightest. And I started to think to myself, maybe one of those thermal printers would be the way forward. Prints one label at a time and it doesn't use any ink, so even less wasteful. I started to really mull one over. I've been seeing a lot of other small businesses using a thermal label printer too, so I was really starting to think, that's something that could most likely benefit my business. And then lo and behold, Fo Memo reached out. So I do, it's one of those, it's one of those universe things. So I thought we could do an unboxing together, trying to suss this thing out. Thought we could go through all of it, see how easy it is to set up, how it works, the ins and outs of this entire package. They have also kindly sent me two different forms of labels because from what I gather, they come on a roll like this and it does come with a stand where the labels just kind of roll off like this but then they do also have an option where it's in a stack and it will just kind of concertina effect just come off the top and feed into the printer. So I thought we could have just a really thorough run through of what this printer is about. Just for your reference, I'm also using um, Mac software. So um, apparently you can use this with Windows or Mac. Um, but I just want to let you know I'm using Mac so we'll see how well it talks to my Mac and um, yeah, just see how easy it is to set up. I have had a little peek and it's very, very pretty. I love the most besides the colour about this printer is the size of it it's so dinky does this bother anybody else you know when you have to peel protective it is a lovely sleek design I'll give it that it is very very pretty you know as far as printers go sometimes they're not that nice to look at this though on the other hand <laughs> I feel like it needs a name at this point so yeah, very very dinky. I'm interested to see what it looks like, obviously even with the labels, however you want to position them, whether they're at the back, um, on a stand, on a roll, or in a stack, to kind of, you know, peel off the top of the stack. It's still going to be something that takes up a lot less space than my standard at home printer. Since redoing my studio a couple of months back, I still haven't got some shelves to go here, so things are a bit upside down in my studio still. I do have a sack of my son's small clothes there ready to pass on to a friend. This room is studio, laundry room, everything in the middle right now. There's even a baby bouncer in the doorway. It's chaos. So the fact that this one can just stay set up on my desk out of the way and just not be an imposing creature of hell, then that makes me very happy. So let's get it set up. There is a label on the top, which not aesthetically pleasing. It does make me happy to see that they've even got a Skype team. All of this is information on how to contact them for help. So there's an email, a number for US only. There is a Skype um, contact and there's also a WhatsApp number. So, you know, caters to everybody. Just gonna pop it on the front of there. You see, much nicer. So it does come with some test labels so that you can, you know, get things get things sorted before you break into your big your big stack. And I think this thing here is the holder. So yeah it is. So, oh my goodness, I've got a feeling this is gonna be harder to put together than actually turning the printer on. 
if you wanted to put your labels in there you could but then there's also this roll bit if you wanted to use the roller lovely so it's not that big i was thinking that this would be a big a big you know in your face thing don't know where it's gonna go yet but i'm still so much happier with the space saving to do with this printer the overall kit than what i have before oh. so it comes with a usb stick and a usb adapter for mac i mean that is an excellent little freebie to get in there I'm very chuffed with that because i don't actually have one of these so i'm just gonna turn my computer on and then we'll get started <laughs> So this was super easy to do, I just plugged the USB in, opened the folder and followed the instructions for Mac. Clicked on this little yellow button here, it took me to this screen, press continue and just let the software install onto your computer. Then I went ahead to find my printers and scanners section in my system preferences and there we go, the printer has been added. Then it was on to feeding some paper into the printer. It kind of just takes it out of your hand so you can feel by the pull of the printer when the paper's in the right place because it just takes it off you. Then I went back to the Fomemo USB folder and I took the sample label out and then I went ahead and changed the paper size. Now the one that matched the paper label size uh, as closely as I could find was the 102 by 152 millimeters and then I went ahead and just sent it through the printer because it's a thermal printer it's pretty much instant you don't have to sit and wait for any ink to come through the printer it just shoots it straight on out it was super super quick and efficient Okay, so it's currently the next day. It's been very, very hot. I am also in the process of sewing some scrunchies, so that's why <laughs> along the back of my chair there are scrunchies set up. But what it's time to do now is go onto my click and drop account, which is how I process my labels for my shop and also for my Patreon page. And what we're gonna do is make sure that the labels are all set up ready to print from there because that's primarily what I'm going to be doing. So although the sample that Fomemo have attached to their installation folder works perfectly, we now need to set it up and make sure the sizing is all accurate, ready for using this printer for when my shop reopens and shipping labels. So then onto click and drop, I went into my settings and then I went to the label formatting section of the settings and basically just changed down the left hand side. So I went for separate label and dispatch note, chose the 6x4 label format size and then chose to also not generate a dispatch note alongside the label and then click save and you're done. Right, so it's been a few days and I've actually had lots of use out of this already despite my shop still being shut um, for maternity leave. So what I've been doing is eBaying off um, lots of James's grandma's stuff for her. Um, so I've been packing some parcels and getting some eBay things sent out and this thing has improved efficiency no end. Also with my husband's business, he's a freelance artist as well and he paints miniature Warhammer models for a living. So he's often posting parcels too so this thing has already had a lot of use i am a big fan of the roll um i haven't actually used you know there's a tray in there as well where you can put the stack of labels as opposed to the roll but i actually can feel myself already favoring the roll i just like the look of it i've decided to move this plant down here on my desk and this thing sits really nicely, nice and comfortably next to my big Canon printer, which is what I'm using now to do all of my art prints. So this thing, I'm so happy with it. Big thank you to Fomemo for sending it to me. I am so full of appreciation for this thing. And um, yeah, I will leave some links down below if you wanna go and check out all of the other little printers that Fomemo have got. There's lots of different colors, there's lots of different styles, and not to mention, they are some of the cutest printers I've ever seen in my life. It's now a Thursday evening and what I want to do tonight is make a start on some notepad designs for my next Kickstarter. So I've actually finished all of my washi tapes so far and now it's time to work on the notepads. 
I've also got some gold spray paint um, that I can finally spray some of the old frames that I've been collecting from the charity shop so that I can put some illustrations in. So what I've decided to do is just make a pile, we'll start making a pile of all of the new stuff that I've got coming to my shop. So there's a stack of all of the different stickers here, there's a couple of new scrunchies. I'm going to see if I've got a chance to bring um, just one more fabric because at the moment I've got bats and I've got toadstools. So if I can go back over all of my new illustrations that I've been doing this year and see if I can bring um, another one to the mix. Uh, what I've also done is I've finished my little hair canvas, my mixed media. I'd love to do some more of these. I really want to go to the art supply shop and get some bigger canvases. It's just kind of trying to figure out how I'd ship them because these ones are nice and flat so I could fit them in a box and make sure that they're shipped nicely to you. Um, but yeah, I love doing mixed media. I find it really freeing and just love it. experimenting with different textures and things. But yeah, that one will be going into the shop as well. And I also have a stack of postcards that you've all seen. I've got some ephemera packs that I've put together because I've just got so much ephemera. There's a stack of originals that I want to send out to new homes. Should we go through those? There is this one which was an experimental piece. I don't know whether to add that one to the shop or not. If it's caught your eye, please let me know and I can absolutely add it. Um, but I'm gonna pop the Lovebirds original gouache painting into the shop. Um, so that's all out of that sketchbook. I'm gonna pop the watercolor fox in and this gouache fox, I'm gonna pop him into the shop. This really adorable field mouse which not gonna lie, I'm gonna struggle to part with this one. I really, really am. I want to keep this one for myself because I love him so much. The owl is gonna be going into the shop. This is an original pencil drawing. And then I also have lots and lots in this folder. Well, this, well, this sketchbook. So I'm gonna be selling off the chameleon. There is the wolf as well. There's the tiger. There is the robin that I did for Christmas cards last year. There's the cow as well. Um, polar bear, polar bear, polar bear. <laughs> James always tells me off hours the polar bear. And then in this one we have some super oldies. So I have the fox. I love drawing foxes. And I have the otter. So they will both be going in. I'm gonna do like an actual video showing you all of the new stuff when it's you know when i've got everything once and for all there's also the new zines so these cuties i'm gonna have 50 limited edition copies of these which i know um some of you like to collect um, but for now i'm going to show you all of the washi tapes they are finished along with the notepad designs so i've printed them off because i thought it would be much easier to see them rather than try and look on the computer screen. So I've just sent these through my cheapy printer so that I'm not wasting ink on the big, the good printer. So they are a little bit streaky, but the final products will obviously not be streaky. Um, but we've got honeybees, we have some moths, some foxes, this one might be my favorite. And then in fact, the frogs though, the frogs. Who knew that I'd get so much joy out of drawing frogs? Thank you for your request to draw frogs because they're just something I wouldn't really have, you know, chosen. But they are the little notepad designs that are also gonna be going alongside the Kickstarter. So if you pledge for washi tapes, you'll also be able to add on, these are gonna be add-on items. Um, so yeah, and these are the washi tapes. So I'm gonna talk to you about this one in a second. But we have like a really lovely collection of, I'm going to call it forest bathing I think, mixed in with a bit of Halloween spooks. Again, I just sent this through the printer so the quality isn't amazing but I just wanted you all to be able to see like a rough idea of what these washies are going to look like. I'm so pleased with them. I've worked my body off for these over the last few weeks but I'm really happy to say that they are finally ready to... Um, yeah they're ready to go to the manufacturers i just need to launch the kickstarter and hope it's a success just gonna use the swanky new printer again because one of the hospitals in leicester which is my closest city have put um a request out for newborn baby hats and there were a couple that my son didn't even wear because my auntie just made loads of them. So I thought I'd send these off to the hospital. Look how tiny they are. 
My son actually came home with a hat from the hospital because they, they like to give them out here in the UK, at least as, as far as I know. When your baby's born, they give you a little hat um, because they get very cold heads and hopefully they can keep a little baby's head nice and warm. going to change because it is very very hot we're about to have another heat wave okay so i wanted to share with you a project that i've been working on in the background over the last few months and i knew that very early on soon after having my son that this was something that i wanted to do what i wanted to do was like document those standout moments that i've been having with him some of them have been hilarious some of them have been very raw and honest whenever they've sort of happened i've been like right to sketch it out really quickly whenever you've got like you know the nearest window of time that you have to just sketch something out I've just gone to my iPad scribbled it out and then gone back to it at a later date but what I've been doing whenever I've had some spare time is doing some illustrations that I'm going to try and collate together into a comic now while I don't have the final product to show you it is something that I have been building a bit of a collection on to be honest and I'm very excited for it and I've been kind of mulling over, is it a comic, is it more of a zine, is it like a mashup of the two and I wanted it to be more sort of comic format. I did have a bit of a moment where I was like this isn't a comic and I started to freak out because I was like this, I don't know what this is anymore, it's just something, it's, a, it's an idea I've had but I don't really know what it is and I was getting really stressed and wound up with myself and then I was like art can be whatever you want it to be Alice so to stop it to stop overthinking it ride with it and that's what I've been doing so I've got some little illustrations to show you although I don't have the final product I did initially want to bring the final product out when I update my shop at the end of August uh, along with everything else but the truth is this project not only is it kind of personal and sentimental to me because it's going to be about um like the first few months of having my son and just illustrating and sharing with you all those little moments that we've had together also it's something that i really wanted to push myself with i avoid environment and scenery design like the plague i just avoid it because i don't feel it's my strong point it is however something that i want to get better at but i'm well aware that i'm not going to get better at it unless i address it and try and take on a challenge and push myself out of the comfort zone a couple of years ago when i went through a bit of a life change event my style changed a lot um, it's the direction that I've been pushing it in ever since um, but I can feel that I have become comfortable in that and whilst I love what I do and whilst I love the direction that things have gone in I'm just aware of that kind of like I'm aware of myself digging my heels in and I'm like no I don't want to I don't want to do anything scary now like I'll just stay here for a bit and in order to grow and develop we do need to sometimes do the scary things so this is kind of to me I'm treating it like a stepping stone between what I'm doing now and heading towards hopefully one day illustrating a children's book so I hope you will stick around come on this journey with me of trying to develop myself as an artist and as an illustrator and I really hope that you like the project. I've got an idea of when I'd like to bring it out and I'm thinking around sort of Halloween, autumn sort of time. There are so many things that I've had floating through my brain this year and even last night I I should have been getting into bed and I was like oh frog fabric so I'm gonna order that today and there's so much new stuff and so much that I want to bring to the shop but this is like a little passion project and I didn't really want to go any longer without sharing kind of what's been going on behind the scenes and kind of what to expect. My patrons do know all about this project um, but I've also been getting in just some little bits here and there so I've got these mama bear and little bear postcards which are really cute and I've also got some vinyl stickers ready for the shop um, and for you hawk-eyed people you may have noticed the little bear and me um, washi tape so there is going to be a washi tape as well and I'm hoping to turn this into a bit of a collection um, but the little bear and me stuff I'm thinking of releasing all at once when it gets released you know in the autumn so it's like an entire collection launch however the washi tape 
this will bear on me if it gets funded with the kickstarter and you pledge for that one if that's one that you choose i will send it to you um however any leftovers any surplus tapes that i get from that campaign i'm going to put aside and save with the rest of the little bear and me collection so that i can launch it all at the same time i'm thinking of doing a fabric as well and looking at doing some bigger fabric pouches and um, because it's little bear and me sort of themed thinking of doing like some mummy bags some mummy pouches things to put baby supplies in nappy bags that kind of thing but i'm just really touched that so many of you sort of asked for little bear sort of products and there's lots of new stuff coming um but as i've said kind of i think the key word for this particular vlog is efficiency so again thank you to phone memo for sending the printer because it's also going to save so much time when it comes to packing parcels and it just means i can spend more time actually doing the designing and the creating and packing your parcels is going to be so much more fun and just straightforward can we just have more straightforwardness in life please speaking of which i need to look into germany shipping because i know there's new rules around shipping to germany which oh, can we not lots of new things coming at the end of august give it another month or so after that and little bear and me will be um printed and released so yeah thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you're excited i hope you're as excited as i am for all of these new things that are going to happen and thank you for sticking with me whilst i've been doing mum stuff and also trying to integrate back into small business life i'll speak to you soon